this quick video is designed to demonstrate image searches, caption searches in individual titles, and then uh, image searches through graphic, uh, graphics tools in the research search window. And I recommend that you play this video uh, at full screen in the maximum resolution that your device will allow. Now, I've got here before me the Accordance Bible Lens Photo Guide, which uh, is being released this week. It's a major revision to our previous Bible Lens Photo Guide. The number of images uh, in this in the, the Bible Lens Photo Guide 4 has, has nearly doubled from the previous uh, version, so there are now over 3,000 photographs in the Bible Lens Photo Guide 4. And so it makes it, it, makes it uh, just very graphically rich. And if I just scroll down uh, quickly to some of the entries in here, you immediately see some of the, the images that are in the, the photo guide. And your license when you, when you purchase the photo guide and any of the, the titles that have graphic images like this, your license allows you to use these images in uh, teaching and preaching context. And, uh, and, and so it just gives you a wealth of, of, uh, of images to pull from to illustrate the points that you're trying to make. Now, what you saw me do just now is I, I clicked on a photograph and it, it makes that photograph a little bit larger. I can even scroll through some of these photographs uh, that are in here. I can right click on this and I can say copy picture and then I could paste that into another application. Or I could put this image into a into a, a window here or a pane in, in my window here at the side and uh, then I could come here and I could save that picture as a JPEG or PNG file if I wanted to have that uh, file actually saved separately and not just used for copy and, and pasting. One thing that you'll notice with any of these pictures that you see here is um, is that they have uh, captions with it, figure one and two. Um, and so this is what we're going to, what I'm going to demonstrate for you today is how to search these particular captions in any uh, tool such as the Bible Lens Photo Guide 4 that has images in it. So if I come up here to the, to the search field and I click here, uh, I see the different kinds of search fields that I can search for. And it's these search fields that really separate accordance from uh, uh, any accordance title from being a basic uh, e-text. Uh, this is what separates accordance, for instance, from, from uh, something like a Kindle title or a Nook title because our developers have gone through this, this text just like we do anything else over here in, in the uh, accordance library and they've tagged different types of content. So, for instance, you know, we, we have entries and what we mean by entries, if I open up the table of contents here and I look at the actual um, entries that are here in the in the photo guide uh, I can search for any of these titles uh, in addition to just being able to look them up alphabetically here in addition to entry there's English content that we mean by content is the the content that is that is right here in the uh, in the description of the the entry for uh, Ephraim in this example we have scripture so when we're referring to scripture here we're talking about these these Bible verses that are that are in the description and of course you'll notice that those show up down there in the instant details at the the bottom of the screen if I hover over them if I was to click on this it actually will open that up that uh, text up into a another window over here on the right um, then in addition to scripture we have Greek content notice in this uh, entry for Ephraim uh, we have Greek content for we have a Greek the Greek spelling for Ephraim Hebrew content would allow me to search for this Hebrew word here. Transliterated words exist in this tool as well. And then captions, which are these captions underneath the pictures. And these different search fields will vary uh, from title to title in your accordance library according to what you're uh, according to what you're looking at and according to the content in that uh, particular title. So uh, to demonstrate a caption search in this case, uh, if I come up here, all I have to do is I have to change to captions. And so, for instance, if I were to type in Jerusalem, I hit return, and what it tells me is that I found 91 exact hits for Jerusalem. And so, for instance, in these we have these two pictures. It says figures 14 and 15, the Holy of Holies of the Temple at Arad. Uh, and so, it, and it says like the Temple of Solomon in Jerusalem and so you'll notice that my search word Jerusalem is now in red 
and I can use my hits button down here at the bottom and I can scroll through. I'm going to turn off my my instant detail so we see a little bit more detail down there at the bottom. But I can scroll through uh, my hits and any any image that has Jerusalem in the, the caption is going to show up in uh, in my hits here again 91 total so let's take this uh, let's take this a, a step further it's very helpful obviously to be able to search through a particular title for a, for an image but uh, you know I have I have lots of I have lots of resources uh, lots of titles over here in um, in my accordance library maybe I want to search through through more of these uh, than just one particular title but I want to find a particular image so I can come up here to my research search field. And what I can do is I can search for an image. Basically what with image check, that's going to allow me to search for captions, uh, text that is in captions in various, um, in various titles. And I've got, I'm gonna select here graphics tools. So by selecting graphics tools, this is a subset of your accordance library where um, the, the developers have recognized certain titles such as the Photo Guide 4, such as uh, other titles such as uh, some of our collections of, of photographs, um, uh, the Zondervan Illustrated background commentaries. Those are graphically rich titles and so those have been selected under graphics tools and I can do a search uh, for those. So, so if I can, I, for instance, if I typed in that same search, Jerusalem, it's going to go through my graphic tools. I'm going to close the, the uh, photo guide over here so that we can see this in uh, a little bit of a larger window. And now what it's done is it's searched through those graphics tools and it's found pictures of Jerusalem. So just in the Zondervan Encyclopedia of the Bible alone, I've got 114 hits. I don't know what my total hits here is, but uh, obviously it's much larger than searching through one title uh, by itself and from um, from this um, from this from these results that have shown up here in my search again I can do the same thing I can click on a an image such as this and I can copy it uh, or I can I can go to um, I, I can I can put it into a to a window like I could before in a particular title, I can I can say more to, to get more information on some of these some of the, the graphical illustrations. There's there's not always a, there's not always a whole lot more because you're actually looking at the whole of the content anyway because of the caption. But sometimes there's a, something a little bit more. And if I discover well that's exactly what I want to look at, I can open up that that title and uh, and here it is in the, the this is uh, Jerusalem of 30 A.D. Okay, so. Uh, that that has taken our search for images a little bit wider than just searching uh, one particular uh, title at a time. Now we've searched our graphics tools. You can actually take this one step greater though, because there are uh, there are titles. Uh, I mean, there are particular titles that aren't necessarily collected in graphics tools that also have images. So if I were to select all tools and do that same search for Jerusalem. By the way, I could have also done it right here. I, I can change this here as well. Um, but if I hit search there, that's now searched. That is now searched through every title in the Accordance Library, and uh, I have a, a larger number of selections. So, for instance, the the uh, Anchor Yale Bible Bible Dictionary is not included in graphics tools, but it does contain some graphics, and so some of those graphics are are included in. Uh, these captions and would be uh, in these results. So again, if, if you want to go wider, you can do that. Now, before we go, let me show you um, one other little kind of bonus tip that you can do with some of these images. And what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to show you how you can use these images in uh, another application such as Keynote. So for instance, here, uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to do a search for Bail, and uh, I already know the image I'm looking for, but uh, it's in the Zondervan Illustrated Biblical Background Commentary of the Old Testament. I'm going to find my image here, and I'm going to copy that image. Now I'm going to switch over here to Keynote, and uh, what I could do here, I'm going to I'm going to move I'm going to move this over. I'm going to delete 
that element of it. I'll make this a little bit larger. And let's say um, what I'll do is I'll I'll paste I'll paste my image in here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna move him over a little bit. Let's let's make it a little bit smaller. Let's put him about right there. And there's this alpha tool in Keynote. Now there may be a similar function in PowerPoint. I'm not sure what that is. Um, if this same capability that I'm about to demonstrate is in PowerPoint as well, someone please tell me down in the comments. But I'm going to click on Alpha. And then I come down here to our picture bell. And basically what I can do is I can take that background uh, out of the picture. I'm going to come down here and get this below his arm as well. And so let's try a little bit more detail. Okay, and so I've taken that out. And then I can do I can do one other thing. Notice it's, it's taken all of the, the white background out. And I'm going to then come in here and I'm going to add a little drop shadow. It makes it look a little bit three-dimensional there. Maybe I'll enlarge it. And I can change my title to something like uh, Bell Worship in Ancient Israel. And I have the beginning of uh, the beginning of a of a slideshow that I can create to uh, uh, to to teach a, maybe a study in, in this particular subject in a classroom setting or something. And so anyway, uh, a great way to find the exact image that you're looking for and use those in uh, preaching and teaching settings.